Hi everyone, welcome to Tonic Live Show number 19. I almost matched that 2-0. <laughs> <Woo>! um, <laughs> today we're going to be making a extended Kensington bag. So we've had a few requests from that in emails and messages from a few different people now. Um, and we're just going to go through the technique of doing that as well. Um, yeah. I'm just going to go over a few different things on my little notepad here as well. So we've got, um, at the moment, we've got a pick of the day uh, warehouse clearance on Ideal and Crit and Craft throughout the day today. Uh, with our lovely presenter Mandy. So if you want to jump over there, I think there's the show at three o'clock. So pretty much after this one finishes, just jump over to Crink Craft or Ideal, and uh, and then uh, you can get get Mandy on the go and have a look at all the great deals that we've got on offer. Have loads of ideas. Yeah, it's a fifty percent show. Fifty percent off some of the products there as well. So. Yeah crazy um, uh, we've also if you're watching at the moment we're live streaming on Facebook and YouTube at the same time so if you have any issues with watching us on Facebook or YouTube then you can use either or um, and then you just jump between the two and we'll be answering comments from uh, the people on Facebook as well as on YouTube as well um, we've also got blog win and tonic which is uh, Anison's little project if you want to yes. uh, jump in we've on got that a win and tonic <laughs> challenge this run then and the address is, I've got to remember this now, Win and Tonic Challenge at blogspot.co.uk. And that's a new challenge starts tomorrow. I don't yeah. know what it is, <laughs> but it'll be on, on the challenge post. Keep your eyes peeled. Definitely, and definitely. Um, and yeah, and, and as well, we've also got uh, our Friday show coming up as well. I think it'll be at four o'clock again this Friday as well. Uh, it's called Tea Time and Tonic, where we go through your cards. All you got to do is use the hashtag Tea Time and Tonic uh, with your posts on our Tonic Live chat page. Um, and then we'll have a look at them through there and just talk you through some different cards and different techniques that people use as well. And anything you want to share, really. Um, we'll pick a random winner from that. Um, we've also chosen a random winner from last week's comments for this uh, last Wednesday show's comments, which I'll tell you at the end as well. So stay tuned. You might be the lucky winner. Um, and uh, yeah, it'll just win a bunch of tonic products and mystery prize. There you go. There you go. Um, and uh, yeah, I've rambled on long enough now as well. So <laughs> take it away, Alison. Okie dokie. So this is what we're going to make this week. It's made using our Kensington handbag. So it does open up and there's a lot lots of, space of room in inside. We've decided that we've, must be a whole box of Lindor. Yeah, we've had it's a serious discussion. We've done some <laughs> equations and uh, it's going to be a lot of Lindor. It's got to be. Yeah. It's got to be. So let me show you what I've used today. I've used a couple of dies from our Kensington handbag. So the main one I've used is the main frame. I've also used the side panel. And that's really, oh, the other one I've used is the little buckle that comes with the, with the die set. And I've used our beautiful blooms, leaf and flower die. So not really a lot of die is used today. But you get great results still though. You do, that's you the do. magic of crafting. <laughs> I thought by the time I've gone through everything to explain you, you can decorate the bag then as you like. Yeah. Entirely up to you. So, oh. Let me just show you. Glasses off as usual. It's a little bit of <laughs> little bit of explaining how I've done it this week. So I've taken the oops as I hurl everything on the floor. <laughs> I have taken the main die frame and I've got an A4 piece of card which is 240 GSM. And in order for them to be both the same, I've lined this die up. I will stick it down and then Dan can hold it up to the, the side camera. The side cam, so you can have a good look then where I've lined it. Yeah. I'm lining it right at the bottom of my card so that the corner of it is lined up with the side. It's lined up here and it's lined up here. So I'll put a little bit more tape on. Just to make sure. Just to make sure <laughs> it doesn't move. So maybe if you can you show go. just on there. Ooh, Sorry. There we go. That's a folding. That's There's Alison breaking things as usual. Come I, on. I have a <laughs> knack. I do have a knack. Okay, so pop this onto your board and I'm not going to cut all the way down. Now the easiest way I have found to do it is to do three turns of your handle. So pop it into your machine. This is our tangerine. You beat me too. I was just about to say stuff then. There we oh, are. Jumping so on that's in. three yeah. turns, I think, because I was talking. Sorry, I interrupted you as well. That's all right. <laughs> it may have been four. But that's all I want to do. I want to get the side shape. Let's get all this tape off. 
Oops. All I want to cut is the side shape, which is there, and take that waist away. And I'm gonna do exactly the same on the opposite side. So it's a little bit of paper, I can't, engineering. I couldn't <laughs> think of the word generating. generating. I was going into my head, but that's not the right word. You're generating great ideas. <laughs> no, it's uh, not yeah. that bad. <laughs> so tape it down properly. And this time I've done exactly the same. I've taken it to the bottom corner of my card and the side. And this way, if you do the same on both sides of the box, you know it's going to be the same. Bring it down a little bit from the top of your board because you may find it's not very happy going through your machine if you take it to the top corner. And again, three turns. That's one, two, three. And then take it back. So yeah, Alison's using the uh, Artonic Tangerine machine. Um, we've got this back in stock now, finally. <laughs> uh, it's been long awaited now as well. And it's, um, it's a really great machine. It's got all metal cogs inside. So um, in, in comparison to some other die machines on the market, uh, you just have, it really it, um, endures a lot of uh, <laughs> pressure. It's a workhorse. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's an absolute workhorse yeah, of a yeah. machine. Because you used uh, nearly every day now, well, most days oh anyway. Gosh, I've <laughs> used this now well over two years from yeah. development <clears throat> stage. Right, I'm just going to chop off these edges just to show you what I'm going to do next so you can see. So there's a very fine little piece on the bottom and you've got more on the top, obviously. So if I get rid of that, I am going to use my paper trimmer, my guillotine rather, <laughs> and this is our 12 inch guillotine. If you haven't got one of these, you could do exactly the same with a ruler um, and a pencil and a pair of scissors. This makes things so just a bit easier though, doesn't it? It just makes it quicker. <laughs> yeah. Makes it quicker. <clears throat> so what I'm doing with this, I'm lining up the edge of the card, making sure both edges are lined up with the edge of the plate. And I'm doing it by, by feeling it. And then just chop that middle bit off. So the bottom of my bag <coughs> is straight. And now I'm gonna do exactly the same with the top. So I'm just feeling for the edges of this card. And just chop in the middle. I wanted to keep the shaped edge on the top of that card, which I have done. It's just the center, the straight. I've done that on both sides. So here's one I've made earlier. <laughs> and I've chopped the both, I've left the both tops on, but I want to chop the top off one of them. So what I'm doing with this one now, I'm lining up top and bottom on my guillotine with the score line that's already in the die. Do you want, maybe you want to show that before yeah. I cut it. It's the edge line there. But where the crease line is from, like the flap from... It's, it would yeah. be the flap from the die. Yeah. Wherever I put the die. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it would be the line that's made by the top the top crease. So it's that bit there. The crease line that's come from that top flap there is the... Uh, but you're going to cut that's it off, it. I guess, is it? Yeah. That's what I'm going to cut off so that we've got the flap here that will come over the top then. So I'm just lining that up top and bottom with my my, uh, my guillotine. So I'm just looking at the edge of the blade. Um, that's where guillotine's easier. So that's taken that one side off. So that is the main part of my bag. So with this, I suppose it is a similar technique to what you would do with a regular bag. It's just an additional You're just making it basically. bigger. Yeah, yeah. Make it I wouldn't be able to move the bag along mm. because I would get the shape top. Yeah. Maybe that is what you want, mind, but you, you'd have to work out how far along you, you take go. it. Yeah, yeah. And then you would have possibly going across, you'd have a little bit of a flute up, and then again. That's a pretty good until at you get lining to everything up. You'd and, have to yeah. line it very, very well. <laughs> bit of trial and error, potentially. Definitely. And, uh, and we'll see what happens. Definitely. Right, let's get rid of those. So I've got the two sides here now. And. What I'm going to do, this can be any scoring board or it could be um, a ruler and an embossing tool. So I've got the line is here, which is the base of the bag. And I'm just going to run 
a scoring tool all the way down. I've lined it up on one line. So, I'm sure to show that one. So that would be the front of my bag because I've cut the flap off. Because I want the flap to come from the back of the bag over the front. So taking the original score lines you made from the, the die and then just kind of And then just extended it right the way down. through. Yeah. So I'm doing the same here. This is exactly the same as I've just done on the front. Oops, that's a little bit off. <laughs> and this will just make the assembling the bag much easier then, I guess. Definitely. Yeah. You you wouldn't get crisp lines unless you put um, a bit of extended <laughs> lines in. Yeah. So again, I mean, this is the beauty of doing the bag, that the die does it all for you. Yeah. So only that's when you get creative and start doing mad things like this. <laughs> that's it. You know, sometimes <laughs> we want a, a little bit different yeah, and we yeah. want a little bit more from our die. Yeah. So I'm just going to crease all these lines now. And on the top line there, I've got a little piece of silver card. So, oh dear, my glue out. <laughs> oh dear me. Well, um, Alison finds that now. I'll read some through some comments. Oh, okay. Well, I'll no, read, some, on, I'll read through some comments I'm only anyway. going to glue it on. <laughs> um, so we've got Amanda Davis saying, Craft afternoon, looking forward to demo. Great shows by Mandy on CNC. Uh, yeah, if you missed me mentioning it before as well, uh, Mandy's going to be on Crate and Craft now at three o'clock. Um, so once we're finished here, just hop on over. We've got a uh, pick of the day warehouse clearance. Uh, so just drip over there. Uh, Pat Moore is saying, hi afternoon, finally at home, able to see you today, looking forward to your projects. Uh, glad, to, well, glad you're joining us, Pat. Um, but if you do miss any of the, uh, miss anything so far, or if you do find that you generally miss these shows, they're automatically uploaded to Facebook and YouTube after we finish. Um, so you can start from the scratch, as well as all the other nine, 18 <laughs> shows we've done so far, uh, as well as our Tea Time with Topics as well. Um, we've got Judith Clark saying, hi all, lovely to see you. Uh, Nikki Goddard saying, uh, got someone to do the school run so I could see this lol. Hi guys. Um, Aww, glad you're sacrificing you. the school run. <laughs> Hope <laughs> the children are fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Kim Ball saying, good afternoon, having to watch via YouTube, not working on Facebook. Oh, well, I'm sorry you're having issues with um, Facebook, but like I said, if you have issues with Facebook or YouTube, we are streaming both of them at the same time. So um, just feel free to use whichever you feel more comfortable using, I suppose. But they're always there to watch later. On. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there you go. So what I did, I cut a strip of silver that's a little bit wider than than the size I needed, and I'm just trimming it off. Then I was about to ask why I'm using the guillotine, but it's because it's got because curved it's shaped. Edged. Yeah, that's yeah. the only reason. I mean, I don't often use use the scissors on it. <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> The chance of a mistake happening as well. Yeah, <laughs> I I don't normally use a big scissors either. I like using a little scissors. Yeah. But when you've got a long long line to cut, a little scissors, little scissors you're going to be take forever. A bit of while, yeah. <laughs> and you don't get a neat edge then. Yeah. So there's my silver, for the one flap. I've cut a little bit of gold. I may as well do it all while it's flat anyway. And I've stuck a little bit of sil uh, sticky tape on the back, double sided. The only reason is because glue takes a bit longer to dry on Miri on um, on a foiled card. Yeah, because with, with our tacky glue, anyway, we've got the little bit of wiggle room in regards exactly. to sticking it down. Whereas exactly. this sticks straight away, doesn't it? So that's right. And I wanted to stick straight away today. Yeah. You know, if I had time, then I would put it to one side. Yeah. But because we don't have time. <laughs> Chop, chop, come chop, on. Chop, chop, I know. <laughs> Get on with it, girl. <laughs> so there's, there's our flap done. And again, I've been reorganised and I've actually cut. If I can find them. <laughs> I've cut the flaps of the card. I don't need that now. So I'll get rid of that. These are the two sides of the card, uh, of the bag, which come from this day. Again, it puts all the creases in for you. And that comes so with the Kensington bag die set. With the Kensington. Well. Yeah. So that's all I do to put them together. You've got the creases on the sides. I've put double-sided tape on these ready. If you wonder what the white stripe is. <laughs> Fold the two side flaps in. The bottom one up. And then the middle bit then, that's all I do, is push them in together and just pinch and I don't do anything with the bottom, and that is the side of your bag done ready then. 
Yeah, you can do that. So again, a similar technique to the like when you're actually just making a, a regular uh, well, exactly a designed the same. handbag, I suppose. Is it what it's it's exactly the same. Yeah. Cool. But I just thought I would make things a little bit easier. Yeah. So, just taking the tape off, if I can grab hold of it. <laughs> and when you're lining them up, you're lining on this bottom crease line with the crease line on the side of the bag. Don't worry if the side is, is not meeting the side of this. That's not a problem. It's the bottom crease line you're looking at. So, I am lining up there and there. And then I'll give this to you and you can yeah. you can show them. Just making sure I'm not going over too far. Because <laughs> if you go over too far, it doesn't work properly. <laughs> we wouldn't want that now, would we? <laughs> we wouldn't want that. <laughs> there we are. Cool. So that's the one side of the bag done. So it's just lined up the the original crease line from that you made with the, the score in the lines. There we go. And then you've yes. just lined up with that one that comes with the die cut then as well. That's it. Cool. You're learning, Dan. Yeah, yeah. It took me a while then. We'll have a I crafty get... Dan now yeah, as well as a crafty <laughs> <laughs> It took me a while, but I got the words out eventually. So you there did. we go. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm doing exactly the same on the other side. And then I'm going to bring it over and I'm going to do the same on the front. If you can do your creases and your sticky tape flat on the, on the desk, it makes it an awful lot easier. So I can do the third side flat again, because again, I'm lining up the bottom crease with the side. Just make sure I've got them flat again. But the fourth one won't go flat now, because the angle is wrong. So I will have to do this one midday. But because I put a little bit of tape on it, it'll be fine. <laughs> I have faith. I should have had a pokey tool here for these. <laughs> Sean's already had to go back to the office once. To I get know. Little surprise. I He's not going to go again. <laughs> I forgot my scoring board today. Oh, I know. <laughs> and I didn't have a ruler either, or I would have done it with a ruler. <laughs> Prepared as always for oh, the Oh, I know. It's good fun. I know. Prepared for anything. <laughs> okay, so the last one again, I'm just lining it up midair with the side crease. And that's it. That's your bag together, really. The only other thing I like to do, I, when I'm putting it together, I like to have the front flap, which I haven't done on this bag, actually. It was only after I put it together. <laughs> I like to have the one going from the front as the outer flap because it keeps it all nice and tidy. So I pop in the back, and I like to trim a little bit off this front to you. Make sure I got the right side now. No, that side. <laughs> this go. is what I did yesterday, so trimmed the wrong <laughs> side. Just to trim that little bit off that front. And that way then you don't see it from the front. There's something you've always said as well, don't be af afraid to cut your die cuts. As well. Oh so. heck no, never be afraid to trim them. A little bit on that side. And I, when, I, when I've put it all together, I'll show you the difference. So, I've got the back now, which is the one I'm putting in first. Then I'm going to put the two side pieces in and I'm going to glue those together. It's all about keeping it nice and tidy. Well, uh, you're gluing away there. Again, I'll, uh... I'll cut the wrong ones off. <laughs> this is exactly what I did. <laughs> Even after double checking. Even after yeah. double checking, <laughs> I wanted to cut the edges off. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, I'll read some. I'll read some comments while you um, well, no, try and I'm sort fast. that out. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we got. Uh, no, no. Oh, uh, Tracy Barter, I'm saying hello from Sunny Hull. Yeah, it's really nice to hear today. It's well. beautiful here today. Very surprising. It's never that nice to be here. but it's warm. Oh, there was thunder and lightning yesterday. Mad weather, honestly. Um, <laughs> uh, Lindsay first in afternoon from Sunny Leeds. We'd like to congratulate all the Tonic team and Jodie Johnson on their nominations. Yeah, uh, we're being nominated for our uh, craft. Best what's it? International what's it? craft brand. Best, best oh, international wow. craft band brand even. And also Jodie has been uh, nominated for uh, celebrity crafter. Is this, is that what it's called? Oh, something like that. Favourite TV demonstrator. So yeah, so we've uh, posted links on our Facebook page. So if you want to pop over and vote for us, 
Come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm sure we'll, we'll come out on top. Beg, no, Dan. Well. Yeah, Beg. come on. Please. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? Linda Pollan saying hi, everyone missed you. Um, and Judith Clark, go for it, Alison. Go, go. There we are. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm interrupting. I'm going no, 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 it's fine. Go on. No, there There's we only are. people there. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's all trimmed and done. The reason I wanted to trim those little edges off, let me see if I can see it on you. Sometimes on the edge of your box here, you see the corner of the die. And I don't like to see that. There we are. If you hold it there, you can see it along there. Whereas if it's trimmed off, oh, okay. Okay. it gives you a neat corner. It's very small It's only a small amount. amount. It's just me being petty. <laughs> it sticks out a little bit just by there. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure yeah. you can see that. Yeah, you can see yeah, so I suppose if you snip that bit off, then it doesn't show essentially. Yeah, doing. and it doesn't matter if you snip both sides because the one is cutched inside anyway. Yeah, so that's the difference there as well. Making, oh, yeah. making Sean work today. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. <laughs> so that's the difference there. So it's no longer that little bit there, essentially. It's only a tiny little bit, but yeah. I think if you know if you're selling, I put my ribbon somewhere. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Um, if you're selling your bags, it, it's just a little added feature to make them look neater. Yeah. So I've got a little hole punch, but you could do this with a pokey tool, um, anything that'll make a little hole. And that's all I'm doing is making a small hole on the crease line on the side. And I'm going down roughly about a centimetre. Look at me being in new terms go. today. I know, Good yeah, God. yeah. It's a different Alison today. <laughs> What no. have you done with the real answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing modern money today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of fine ribbon, but this could be um, braid. It could be anything you've got in your sewing basket. This um, makes a little nice addition to a little handbag. It does. Basically. It does. And that's all I do is tie a little knot. You could tape it inside if you wanted to. But if you keep your knot nice and short. I've done a double knot because obviously I don't want to come in back through the hole. <laughs> and I'm just going to trim trim the end off. I thought you were going to cut the knot off then. I was thinking, that's kind of productive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not good. You don't want to do that. So make sure your ribbon is straight. Decide how long you want it. And then you can tell this isn't my ribbon scissors because it's not cut in tidy. <laughs> Very particular about your ribbon scissors. I am very particular yeah. about my ribbon scissors. Don't get in the way of Alison and her ribbon scissors. <laughs> Don't cut paper with it anyway. No, no, no. So again, we've got another little knot on the other side. But as I say, I mean, you can line this bag. Depends how much time you want to spend on it and who you're giving it to. and. Yeah, because these are just your kind of decorations that you've done, but obviously there's such a wide variety of different styles that you can make. Exactly. exactly. So obviously it's, nice, it's a nice pinky flower floral kind of theme at the moment, which is more suited towards a, a girl's kind of style, I yeah. suppose. But you, also, you can make it with various colours. You colour could have schemes. a man bag if you want to. A man try. bag, yeah. You a really messenger could. bag. Very good. So I've got some little sticky hook and loop dots here. So the easiest way I find to do them is to put them on top of each other and then decide where you want to put it, stick it on, then push them both down together and then when you open it then they both in matching places. There you go, that's an Alison technique. That's the, uh... Easy tip, <laughs> easy tip. So I did have somewhere along here a little heart, yes I've still got it. <laughs> And it's, it's still going. It's finding, <laughs> finding bits on the table to add on today. I yeah. know. I started <laughs> off. I had everything neat and tidy. <laughs> and it just doesn't last, I'm no, afraid. No. Not so, in the world of crafting. Mm, the, uh... Not in my world, it doesn't. <laughs> anyway. So I've got a little bit of funky glue. Again, I'm sticking this now onto a bit of foiled card. So it does take a little bit of time. So just find the middle-ish of your card. And just pop it on. It does take a little while to dry. So then I've got two of our little frond leaves. So from the um, beautiful blooms. These are from the beautiful bloom set. And I just find these these will go on anything. Yeah. 
They're a nice addition to any kind of car. Any project. Really, any any project. time of year. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Just... <laughs> Change the colours and yeah, a exactly. different flower. Very versatile set of dye sets. You know, if you put the nice zesty colours, they're quite tropical. Mm. And then you could even go Christmassy with them. Yeah. So I've got a little bit of glue on there. What I would do, if you get a bit of glue on your on your foiled card, I tend to get a little bit of a baby wipe and wipe it off. Because the glue does dry clear, but is that different on foiled doesn't, cards? Doesn't it doesn't dry the same on foiled right, cards. Okay. So I just put a little bit of glue in the in the centre because I want the sides to remain loose so that I can manipulate them after. So just a little bit in the middle and we'll pop that with our leaves. I've got a little bit of our crystal drops. I'm afraid I don't know the colour because I've lost my label. I think, do you know this one? Is it like rhubarb or something? Oh, rhubarb rings a bell. Something. Oh. oh, is that the ready one? There's a red and a pink, and they're very similar. Prepared as always, uh, as you can tell. <laughs> I know, uh, I know. There's a red berry, so that's... No. I think that is the ru rhubarb. Is it the rhubarb? <laughs> Sean's face is not approving right now. <laughs> He's not. No, it's not a good one. <laughs> none, of us, none of us are quite good. <laughs> you you tell us, you tell us. So, yeah, yeah. It's the deep pink one, anyway. <laughs> you know, when, when, you, when you look at them, it's deep pink. Yeah. And there's our bag made. There we go. They've ended up pretty much the same this week. I know. Uh, that's a good achievement. I know. There we go. I'll do the close up. The swinging bags. There you go. There we are. <laughs> I so hopefully too long, now so we will uh, see. I'm going to lay that down because otherwise the drop yeah. is going to. I should have been so vigorous dribble. with my. Uh, swing. Stop <laughs> swinging the handbags now. <laughs> yeah, it was so much fun though. I'll, I'll keep doing it with this. You there have you that one. That's mine. I'm quite happy for you to swing that bag. <laughs> right, I'll, um, and that's our make for this week. So that was a bit of a quick one this week. Yeah, I don't know how long we'll be. I know you're going to be watching Man DC, and I don't want to take all yeah, the time. Yeah, yeah. You've got to make sure to jump over to Crate and Craft, or is it a Crate and Craft or Ideal? Oh, both today. Oh, both. There They'll you be go. swapping over all day. Oh, okay, so three o'clock is the next one in Mandy now as well. I'll just read a few more comments over here now as well. Um, is Tanya Mohan Mahan? Sorry if I mispronounced that one. Uh, hello from a sunny Birmingham. Uh, Tracy, Tracy Bartram, hello from sunny Hull. I've read that one before. <laughs> uh, Tracy's still in the yeah, sun. Yeah, Tracy's still in the sun. She's <laughs> commented again just to make sure I missed it. Uh, <laughs> Jenny Hall saying, craft afternoon, everyone. Uh, Victoria, uh, oh, I forgot, craft, in, <laughs> craft onion, everyone? Mm, okay. Craftenoon, is that what I'm... Probably, yeah. I there should have are. read that Craftenoon, I remember. Uh, <laughs> uh, saying Cheryl Tully's just saying, hi guys, just managed to catch the end. We'll watch the rest on Catch Up. So yeah, if you have missed anything so far and you're really interested in how to make this, um, then you can just watch back. When, uh, as soon as we finish now, it'll take about, I think, 30 seconds to a minute or so to upload. But yeah, if you just jump back then, you'll be able to watch all this back as well as all the other shows we have on our Facebook and YouTube page. Um, yeah. And uh, I think that's it. Oh, um, got to announce the winner for last week's prize. Or was it this week's prize? This week's prize? This week's prize <laughs> from is, last uh, week's comments. Last week's comments, this week's prize, uh, the uh, mystery prize this week. So who knows what you'll get. Um, it'll be something good, hopefully, though. That's even better. <laughs> yeah, like yeah it's exactly. <laughs> uh, and the winner of that is... Should we have a drum roll? Amanda Davis. So, um, if you want to just drop well us done, a yeah. <laughs> if you want to just um, <laughs> drop us a comment on our, uh, drop us a message on our pa Facebook page, and we'll just we'll send you a dress and we'll uh, get it sent out for you then as well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, really. Just uh, same old stuff. Really. There we are. Thanks for joining oh, us. Oh yeah, social media as well. Sean's getting that queued up at the moment. So we're on uh, a level of different uh, social media. So our Instagram's going on across the page at the moment where we post uh, a few different cards in regards to just some of the, the shows we have and any particular magic projects that we make <laughs> um, <laughs> Pinterest we've got boards for nearly every show now as well so there's plenty of inspiration on there you just top pop in it should all be tagged up and stuff so you should be able to search by the range for example the Kensington bag uh, it should pop up with our boards and of all the Kensingtons we've made then as well across the past uh, Facebook if you're not on our Facebook page at the moment watching um, on our YouTube page uh, jump over to our Facebook page give it a like because we uh, normally just update with all the show information as well as any other bits and pieces that we put out there as well 
uh, Twitter. We've got we put all our show information and a few other bits and pieces on there as well. Sometimes a few behind the scenes pics and stuff, and who knows what else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, YouTube as well. We got um, so if you're watching this on Facebook, you can jump over to our YouTube channel. Um, we've got loads of tutorials on there. Like I said, I think I said last week we've got close to 200 tutorials on wow. there. So feel free to jump over then as well. Just have a look and maybe you'll find something that you uh, in the old cupboard or something that you may have forgotten about. <laughs> well, you uh, may find something on the the show with Mandy. Yeah. That's an old set of dies, and you're thinking. Well, what else can I do with it? Yeah, and then yeah. you love the pictures, then. Exactly, there's all sorts. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, make sure to jump over to uh, Crate and Craft now as well at three p.m. to see Mandy. But um, from me and Alison, let's say that. <laughs> uh, that's uh, it for today, and uh, join us on Friday now as well for four o'clock at Tea Time at Tonic as well. So, don't forget um, your postcards, man. Your postcards, postcards. <laughs> <laughs> it's the winning feature. Uh, send your postcards to the PO box address in the description, uh, and we'll have we'll show them out on uh, Friday and. Uh, we're going to put a map up or something like that and pin them all up there as well. So, uh, yeah. But until Friday, I guess, it's uh, goodbye from me and Alison. Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs>